Monday marked a historic day in the Prairie State, the end of cash bail, making Illinois the first state in the country to eliminate it entirely. The new system unfolded in counties all across the state. Our state capital reporter Theodora Kulavaris was at the Macon County Courthouse today to see how things got off the ground. One by one, people went before a Macon County judge for their arraignment. But the process looked a little different than in the past. No cash bail is now in full swing across the state. The state has filed a petition to set conditions of pretrial release. In the courtroom, the judge decided whether or not someone should be detained before their trial. In many of those cases, the judge ruled to release the person pre-trial and set conditions they must follow while out on release. They were probably people that would have had lower bonds set anyway, so it's not, it's not a not a great crisis that they're being released without any bond money in terms of guaranteeing their appearance, especially since we got the conditions. Others were detained depending on what they were charged with, taking into account if the person was a threat to public safety or was a flight risk. They also looked at their overall criminal history. We tried to be very selective about which ones we wanted to proceed on and uh, make sure that we got it right. In one case, they had to navigate between the old and the new systems. He had other charges that while still bond was pending, he was uh, he's being held on those, but he can't be detained on these, even though these charges and his older charges are exactly the same. Overall, both the Macon County State's Attorney and the Chief Public Defender say the first day under the no-cash bail system went smoothly. We basically got everything we wanted today in terms of either people detained or released on conditions. So for uh, from our point of view, it went fairly well. Generally, the rulings were not unexpected, I think. I, I really appreciate it. We were able to get some released with conditions. It made sense because these are individuals who likely would have been able to post their bond anyway. A little under 300 people are behind bars in the Macon County Jail. The county's chief public defender, Michelle Sanders, says some will have to decide if they want to move their case to the new no-cash bail system. We also do have a small percentage of people who are held on non-detainables that we are in the process of getting out. Um, we have petitions going on file today. If they're held on a non-detainable offense, we'll get them into court within the next week, get a hearing done, get them out. Macon County State's Attorney Scott Reeder says he doesn't have any major concerns about how the new system will operate moving forward. We'll hit bumps and there'll be problems but I think we'll weather them pretty well. Reporting in Macon County, I'm Theodora Kulavars. People who've been in pretrial detention before today will have to file a petition to have their case considered under the new system. The Safety Act lays out those guidelines. People charged with forcible felonies could have a hearing within 90 days to be considered for release. Those considered a flight risk could have one within 60 days, and people with all other offenses could get one within seven days.